Hi everybody! Today we're going to learn about destructors in C++. So what is a destructor? A destructor is a member function which destructs or basically deletes an object. Destructors are a function that's called automatically when an object goes out of scope. When does it go out of scope? That's when a function ends, the program ends, a block containing local variables ends, or a delete operator is called. So here I have a, a struct and a main function. I've actually, this is from my video where I'm explaining how to use copy constructors. And in here, I am dynamically allocating memory in my struct. And this is when you need to have a custom destructor. Typically, you do not need to write your own destructor in a class. The compiler creates a default constructor and that works fine unless we dynamically allocate memory or a pointer in the class. In this case, I have a pointer key and value and I dynamically allocate memory for these pointers in this struct. So now what we need to make is a destructor. So the destructor has the same name as a class, but it is preceded by a tilde. So to write a destructor, I can say tilde, in this case, my struct is named pair. So it's tilde pair parentheses. And this is defining a destructor. Destructors are just like constructors where they do not return anything. So in this case, we would want to write a destructor that is deallocating the dynamically allocated memory in this struct. So in this case, I would write a destructor that says delete key and delete value. And just so we can see that this destructor is being automatically called, I'm going to outprint destructor called. So C out destructor called. So this destructor is automatically going to be called whenever my uh, declared variable, in this case, I have pair one and pair two go out of scope. In this case, the program is exiting. So we're going to build this and then let's run this. So here you can see the destructor gets called twice. That's because I created two variables, pair one and pair two. And so at the end of this code, they are be, the destructor is being called. It is important to make sure that you make destructors when you have dynamically allocated memory because now you deallocate the memory and this avoids memory leaks, which can cause abnormal terminations to your program. You can also explicitly call a destructor. So you can explicitly call destructor by doing, um, we'll do it for pair one, so pair one dot tilde pair. And that explicitly calls our destructor. So now you know how to use destructors in C++ and how to write a custom destructor. 